Epic Games partnered up with uh, ILM XLab and built an amazing uh, ray tracing demo in the Star Wars universe that combines traditional rasterization, you know, or age-old rendering technique with ray tracing. Real-time ray tracing really bridges the final gap between uh, current rendering techniques today and complete photorealism of all objects. For game developers, this means games can achieve more realism. For architects, that means you can have a completely realistic rendering in real-time of a building or a scene. And for movies, it means uh, it's about to become possible in real-time at 60 frames a second. So it's going to be really transformational and move movie pipelines away from offline to real-time. And game engines are at the center of the pipeline. Late last year, uh, Epic got together with Cubic Motion um, and Three Lateral and Vicon and Tencent with the goal of constructing the most realistic digital human ever created. The result was the Siren demo, which is a completely real-time uh, motion capture of uh, the face and body of a human character projected into a dynamic real-time scene. Now, with the Vicon motion capture setup, uh, you can capture a real-time face um, project it into a character in Unreal Engine and have a level of detail that is very close to reality and uh, certainly closer to this side of Uncanny Valley than the other side. Epic Games and 3Lateral, we work together to produce a completely real-time rendition of an Andy Circus performance. The real innovation here was that uh, unlike every digital human performance you've seen in any movie ever, there was absolutely no hand animation uh, or human involved. It was simply Andy Circus uh, plugging in as input into these cameras and photorealistic uh, image of a digital Andy Circus in real time. It really foreshadows what's coming in real time very soon uh, to games and to movies. The final gap between mobile gaming and PC and console has been bridged. Fortnite's the first uh, complete example of this, where we have a single game shipping on PC, Mac, PlayStation, and Xbox, and iOS, and soon Android, which is a single unified game experience across all devices. It's one game, um, and in fact, you can play in this game with your friends across multiple platforms all at once. It's completely transforming mobile gaming. You know, in fact, we looked at uh, the iOS top 10 charts yesterday morning, and um, top two games are Fortnite and PUBG Mobile. We demonstrated Fortnite's replay system, uh, which uh, enables you to record a gameplay session and then play it back with interesting camera shots. You have camera fades, the ability to uh, tie it to music or cut multiple action sequences together. You know, Twitch streaming started out as gamers uh, watching other gamers play games so they could learn, um, but it's really evolved into a new form of entertainment. And the best streamers and content creators are truly entertainers at their heart. I mean, this will give them a new repertoire of tools which they can use to create amazing experiences that engage their audience. Not only is this a feature of Fortnite, but it's a feature that's generally available within the Unreal Engine. So, you know, another example of Epic uh, leading the way with our games and then sharing the results with everybody.